Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm loving my makeup today, um, but I was just trying to practice with some wintry colours and get them out of my system before spring is officially here, which I think is the 20th of March, so I understand it. So yeah, if it looks a bit crazy, I'm going a bit out of my comfort zone, trying some pale blues and some cool toned lips. Not usually my thing, but you know, giving it a crack. And um, let's get straight into favourites. We're talking today about February favourites. Yeah, it's right at the beginning of March when I film this. In fact, I think I'm going to upload it today, so the day it's uploaded will be the day it's filmed, most likely. I've got quite a lot of non-beauty related favourites this month. Um, so let me do the beauty related stuff for you first, um, because I know that's probably what you're mainly all here to see. And actually I've got quite a lot of non-favourites or unfavourites or whinges this month. <laughs> we all like a good whinge. Um, so yeah, let's, get, let's make a start. So the first thing I'm going to show you is um, a favourite. I think I've mentioned these as a favourite before, so do excuse me if I have, but you know, I'm just honest every month. Um, Essence Lip Liners, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, really, really cheap. I think they're about a pound each. Usually Essence is an offer as well, so I usually get three for two and stuff like that. Um, fantastic colours, really wearable colours, not just colours where it's going to attract you to that product. Colours that um, don't necessarily look the most attractive to look at when you're, they're on the shelf but actually work with lip, lip colours that you own, actually do the job, um, if you know what I mean. The formula is great, they're quite long lasting, not the longest lasting but they are you know, good, they're not waterproof or uh, smudge resistance or anything like that. I really really love them. Here's some of my favourite colours. I've got Red Blush, Wish Me A, Ro uh, Wish Me a Rose, uh, this one I think is Nude, yeah Nude, In The Nude, uh, Satin Mauve and uh, Cute Pink. So um, I think it's cute pink is the one I've probably been wearing the most. Um, I know that a lot of people's favourite is the satin mauve, which is a beautiful colour, and that is very, very versatile. So yeah, I really, really love those essence liners. Usually I would save my non-favourites till the end, but with it being directly relevant, I'm just going to mention a non-favourite because it's on the other side of the penny, and that's the MUA Intense Colour Lip Liner. Whatever possessed me to buy this colour, I don't know, and I've got it on for you today just to show you that, I suppose, depending on the look, you can sort of make it work, but it's so metallic, it's not very flattering. I and mean, if you want, if you're going for a frosty lip, which some people like, then maybe it'd go well with that, just frosty lips are not my thing. Um, so the colours are more designed, I think, to catch the eye um, on the shelf as opposed to actually work um, in practice, practically, let's say. Um, I can see the cap's already cracking, um, which annoys me, and it comes with a sharpener. Now, you, you could argue you just don't use the sharpener, um, because obviously if you had like an essence lip liner, you wouldn't have a sharpener, you'd need another sharpener, but it annoys me the way that have the sharpener on there, but it's not usable in the sense that when you do use it, it just gets so covered in gunk, um, it just makes everything in your handbag or makeup bag just go really dirty, so not a fan of the packaging, and the formula is, isn't as good as the... Um, Essence one, although they're both the same price points, points obviously they're investing a little bit more money in their packaging and a little bit less in the product. Um, so I, I much prefer the Essence one over the Makeup Academy or MUA liner, so that's a non-favourite. Um, since we're just on the non-favourite bandwagon already, let's go straight into the Your Bluffing by Benefit. Um, this is a product um, which is designed to help a counteract redness. I'm not sure how well it would be for that because my understanding is maybe green would be a little bit better for that I don't know correct me let me know in the comments what you think um, but I've tried this under the eyes um, because uh, yellow I understand is brightening but this is more of a mustard yellow I don't mind twisting it up and down all the live long day it's more like a mustard colour than a brightening sort of yellow so um, I put it on the other day because I had some redness around my nose and chin underneath my makeup and it just Everywhere this touch, the makeup just came off altogether. It was really unflattering. I was in the car servicing centre because I needed some work on my car and I had no foundation with me to touch it up. I didn't usually carry it around with me, I don't usually need to touch it up. And this is the only thing I'd done differently um, and I haven't used it in a while so that unfortunately is a massive fail and that's going to have to um, go in the rubbish so I'm going to put that in the trash right now. Um, also, the other makeup item which is a fail is, um, or a non-favourite, is the Revolution Ultra Velour Lip Cream. I know a lot of people enjoy this, 
I only bought the one thankfully just to test the formula because I've learnt my mistake on that with Makeup Revolution. When you put it on, it sort of looks moussey. I mean, it's very, very, it can be very sheer. Well, it, let's, it is very sheer. It's very sheer, as you can see there. If you were to build it up, it just goes patchy. And it's difficult to build up the intensity of the colour because of the formula. It sort of just feels like a non-oily grease on your face. It slips and slides around, it doesn't stay where you put it, it doesn't dry down. Um, I don't know, it's like... It perform it's like a gloss without the benefit of having glossy lips. I don't understand the purpose of this product. I really don't like it. And that uh, I don't say that lightly because I really love Makeup Revolution, although I have said in the past that their lip products aren't are my least favourite of the stuff that they do. But anyway, I shan't go carry on whinging on about it. Let's just leave it there. It's a non-favourite. Um, next favourite is the Wear Off 60 Minute Express Tan for Face and Body in Medium Dark. Uh, by Soleil which is the super drugs uh, tanning brand it does come with a cap on it I just haven't got it to hand um, I used this before I went on holiday to Malta and the week before that as well it's absolutely fantastic um, it lasts for me up to a week this uh, fake tan it's a really beautiful natural sort of golden sort of olivey colour but not too olive sometimes when people say to me oh it's a lovely olive color and I try it, it can almost look green on me um, this uh, just looks natural on me it's not too orange not too olive uh, it's just lovely the only thing I would say is where your skin is drier like for example I'm a little bit dry here or drier it, it, it is a bit darker as it fades and everywhere else but on my legs for example well if your your skin is sort of the same texture it doesn't uh, fade off unevenly too unevenly the price is there I mean for the, for the price this is a fantastic product I th it depends uh, what sort of deal we get with it but I think I, I think they're about somewhere between four and seven pounds depending on what sort of deal and say you get with them because they do three for two and stuff like that so yeah I'm really really glad it's, it claims to be lasting and it is it's for face and body don't put it on your face it broke me out horribly um, for the body really 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 enjoy this product and I definitely would repurchase so far it's my favourite self tanning product that I've tried and I did try an oil, a Lux oil from M&S which was a lot more expensive than that and I do prefer that um, goes on easily, it does have the cookie smell um, which some people don't like um, and it certainly does develop in an hour I usually leave it on for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, wash it off and then it's perfect. So love that, you don't have to get your clothes and your bedding all ruined. Um, next fave thing I'm going to mention is another favourite and that's peppermint tea. I've been trying to cut down on the amount of caffeine that I've been having recently because I'm very much aware that I'm drinking too much caffeine. So I've been loving Twining's peppermint tea and also old Jamaica diet ginger beer. So these two drinks are really low in calories almost calorie free, caffeine free, this is fantastic to aid digestion, I think ginger is quite settling on the stomach as well, um, my understanding of it, um, so yeah I've been enjoying both and it's been aiding everything along internally, so yeah really really enjoyed those. Um, let's get into another beauty product, this Eyelure Pro, Pro Brow Dye Brow Dye Kit and Dark Brown is really good, I'm very fair, my eyebrows are almost translucent. Um, but this is a fantastic product. I'm not, again I'll say, because I said this to do with other things in the past, I'm not advising you to do this, so if you do this you're doing it at your own risk, but I personally leave this on longer than it tells you to, and I've built that up but, um, in 30 second intervals until I, to make sure that I don't burn myself or cause myself any damage. So it says to leave on for a maximum of 5 minutes, and uh, I leave mine on for probably 10, so double that. So um, the more longer you leave it on, the darker the brows are. Um, yeah, it's just been great for when you, for quick and easy days, so I don't want to fill my brows in like on holiday or for work. Um, I'm really, really glad then that I've got this. I still very rarely don't fill my eyebrows in, um, to be honest, um, but because I've not got a lot there. But I highly recommend that. I think I paid around £10 for it. Um, I've had two books this month that are favourites. Um, one is this Kate Colcurran, Colcahoon book, but it's called Did She Kill Him? It's a Victorian tale of deception, adultery and arsenic. I love this sort of thing, this sort of scandalous, 
true crime. I think it's based on a true story, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is based on true true facts. It's got a whole um, bit at the back, uh, what do you call it? Glossary, not glossary, bibliography, yeah, bibliography. So where she's referenced it, so it must be based on true events. Really enjoyed that. And the other one is Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl, which unfortunately I don't have to show you at the moment because I gifted it in Malta. I gave it to somebody else who I thought might enjoy to read it whilst they're on holiday before I came back. Um, moving on to another beauty favourite, I've got the Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream. Love this product. It's so versatile. I can use it when my hair's wet. I can use it when my hair's dry. I can use it straight after washing. I can use it to help me in between washing. It's just... It's, it's just a great, great product. Um, I, it's not the only one I've tried. I'm not just saying that because I've just tried a curl cream and realised I like curl creams because I've tried a lot of curl creams. And this is a really, really good one, especially for the price, but not outside of that. It's just a good curl cream. Um, I, I've been comparing it recently to... I think it's the Lee Stafford. I'll just have a look. I think it's Lee Stafford. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, Lee Stafford Moroccan Oil from Morocco Curl Cream, which is far more expensive than, than that and nowhere near as good. Um, so I highly recommend that. That's by Organics or OGX. And um, next I'll move on to the lotion I've been using so much this month. Um, it's about down here, but I've been shaking it up a bit. So it's the Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk. And the smell of this, I think I've had it in a favourites before, so I, I, I'm pretty sure I have, so I shan't go on about it, but this is the lotion I've been gravitating towards all month. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I just wish I could eat it, but I can't. Um, and it's very moisturising, especially for a lotion. The foundation I've used almost all month round, and the one I took on holiday with me, is the Wake Me Up Rimmel in True Ivory. Now, this might seem strange to be sort of your holiday colour in True Ivory, but it's actually, I think, it's at 103, so it's the, there's two lighter shades than this. There's a porcelain and an ivory. This is quite orange. I actually can't wear it now without fake tan on um, because we're coming out of winter. It is quite orange. Um, and I'm not sure if all the shades in the Wake Me Up range are, are like that because they have the vitamin C and the brightening effect too. But I absolutely love this foundation. I'm just saying be careful with the colour matching with this one because it's you can easily become a tangerine. Um, but yes, I've really, really enjoyed that, and that's a favourite this month. This is another non-favourite, <laughs> which is the Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream. Things become a non-favourite for me, even more so when I know I've paid money for them. This was about £10, which is stupid for a foot cream. And it's just rubbish. It's like, it's not a cream, it's not even a cream. It's like a goo. It's like a translucent goo. I, I, oh, I should get it out, Chanel. I, like, I don't want to get it out. Um, yeah, there you go. So it's a translucent goo. Doesn't really smell of coconuts. It actually smells quite chemically to me and mostly of peppermint, which I like, but I was hoping for a lovely coconutty foot cream because I bought it and it says coconut foot cream. It just doesn't moisturise my feet very well. It doesn't absorb very well. Um, it's messy and sticky. Usually with a foot cream, I can put it on and then just rub the excess into my hands. With this, you have to, you, I feel as though when I've put it on my feet, I have to wash my hands because I need to get it off my hands, which is not a good sign. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend that product. Um, this is something that I've used. I've had a lot of headaches this month, which is crazy. I know because I've I had two weeks off work and I had my, my, my vacation on my holiday. Um, but I just have been suffering really bad with headaches. So this is Anatol anatomicals oil you throb head headache relief balm it's a little tin like vaseline it smells so soothing um you can rub it into your temples um and i rub it into my neck behind my ears or around the back of my neck i rub it into my shoulders just here the muscles there my shoulders i put it between my wrists so i've really enjoyed using that and it has been really helpful i also have rubbed some across my fore forehead uh, forehead so yep yeah. Uh, I don't know how much it costs, I got it in a pink parcel I think or a glossy box but yeah I've really really enjoyed using that. Um, the other favourite I wanted to mention is a TV show I've been watching um, called Making of a Murderer. You've got to see it if you haven't seen it already. It, you know this guy gets accused of murder and then he gets put in jail and then it turns out he didn't do it and then they, they think he did another murder. I'm not going to spoiler alert it you've just got to watch it, it's fantastic. Um, and I was so sad when it was finished. I think it's about 10 episodes, I can't be 100% sure, 
um, but my husband enjoyed it as well and um, my friend Autumn's channel so I've, I don't think I've ever I'm not sure I've ever mentioned another YouTuber's channel in a favourite before so if I haven't that's not deliberate um, and if I have I've, I've forgotten that I have sorry but um, my friend Autumn Dent has a channel and the reason it's a favourite is because not because she's my friend it's because she's made such an effort to improve her channel um, you know her lighting her background she's got a makeup room sorted now she's got new she's uh, films uh, on different equipment um, she's she worked on being uh, more sort of uh, herself on camera she's coming across so much better the content she's thought of she puts so much work and effort into her channel and if you look at if you watch her channel and you watch her videos you'll see what a massive progression she's made you can actually see the effort that she's made it's not like she's just come in and gone you know this is my my channel and then just kept it there she you've, she's gotten better and better and better so i'm really really excited to see what she's going to be bringing out in the future um and um if you're not already subscribed to her go and show her some love because um she knows her stuff she knows what she's talking about so um yeah that's everything i think in my favorites for this month if i've missed or forgotten anything I'll probably just use it over next month and mention it next month because this is a long enough video now. As usual, let me know please in the comments what you've been loving for the past month because I do love to hear these things and I love your recommendations and I hope everybody's well and thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Bye!